Okay. Um, what is going on here with this whole case with this um, what's his name? YSL. I don't, I don't understand what's happening in this video. It is almost disturbing. I, I think this is the reason why it's very difficult to sometimes take people seriously when they go to a courtroom and then they act like they've lost their mind. This isn't a riot opportunity here. This is a courtroom. This is a this is a courtroom. This is a court proceeding. And this young man sitting here with his headphones on. I don't know what he's doing, but he's not the one carrying on. It's it's the people sitting out in the audience. This is so ignorant. It's not even him. It's these, who are these goofballs back here? What is wrong with these people? What, what are you, why, why are you in this courtroom cutting up like this? I don't understand what's happening. What is it? Is it supposed to be protesting or something? Do you really think this is a place to do it? Would this not have been more effective outside the courtroom on public property and having a protest? A meaningful protest talking about some issues or something? What is? What do you think is going on in a courtroom to where you think it's the time to protest? You may not, you listen, whether you agree with why he's going to court or not is irrelevant. The fact is, is that the courtroom during a court proceeding is not the time for you to go in there and act stupid and ignorant. How is this effective? How is this going to get his case resolved in any, any other way other than where it's going? I don't, I don't understand. All you're doing is causing a disturbance and for nothing. It might have even made it look, make even the, the case itself look worse for YSL. I really hope he didn't sit in there and just tell these people to come in and be disruptive like this. Because it, it just doesn't stop anything. What they'll do is, they'll just have another court proceeding. And they will not open it up to the public. And it'll just be the uh, prosecutors and the defendant. And the judge, and that's it. Only people who need to be in there are on the ones that's on the payroll. And they won't let anybody else in there. This is this is so stupid. It's stupid. Well, I, it's no decorum because they're ignorant. I understand what was the purpose of this. Don't look for the judge. The judge has already been escorted out. The judge, the judge is gone. Why? Why even spend over there? The judge is supposed to be escorted out the moment chaos breaks out in the courtroom because you never know what's going to happen or who's in there to be stupid or to do something really dumb. So ever since that dude in the two mid two thousands went in and was it Brian? What, what was or whatever his name was Brian something. And he went and shot judges up and stuff like that. They they have never they've revamped their security protocols. So any any sign of chaos breaking out in the courtroom, the first thing the bailiff does is gonna escort the judge out. Oh, they're gone. <laughs> I don't know who's recording, but I mean, they obviously need to stand behind this person. How is this work going to jail over? He just acted stupid. You're an idiot. Ridiculous! What was this for? 
Now you're gonna go to jail for what? Three days for contempt of court? Because you created a scene? What was this for? What did it get you? I don't understand this. They literally, the, the judge can literally give them a week in jail just for this outbreak. What was this for? What did it benefit you? It didn't benefit the, the guy's case at all. I don't understand why I do this. You're not delaying or stopping anything. It's still going to go through a trial. You, the only thing you can do to help is to help him build a better defense. That's it. <laughs> Just, I don't know how this is supposed to help anything. They could have protested outside the right way on public property. They did not have to go into a courtroom, cause a scene, and make it harder for them to go through this case. Instead of them doing that nonsense, why don't y'all read some books about the law and how to better uh, defend yourselves and come up with a strategy to help build up his defense case? There you go. My oh, God. Everybody, step out. Get out. Exactly. That's exactly what should happen. It's everybody who's not on the payroll not supposed to be in here, get out. Get out. Get up and get out. Hurry up. This is so stupid. The ignorance of it all. It's dumb. This didn't get you anywhere. But kicked out of a courtroom. And two of them going to jail for contempt of court. This is absurd. Another one in the record? Another one? How many got arrested? What is going on? This is so ridiculous. Yeah, they gone. We'll keep recording it. It's, the judge gone, honey. I think the court report goes out with the judge as well. Unless that's her right there, but the judge is gone. The judge already stepped out. Let me tell you something. Y'all asking too many times. Have a seat. And I'm only saying that once. I'm not repeating myself. Because all of them you, you understand English. They all understand English. Simple English. Have a seat. If she would have said, sit your ass down, then they, oh, you're decorum, you cussing at us, shut up. This is ridiculous. The, the buffoonery of this nonsense is just mind-blowing. Mind-blowing. You're not stopping anything. The case is still going to go on. You want to fight it, fight it the right way. You need to be intelligent. Read a book about the law. And help build a better defense. And go from there. That's how you fight or protest through your intelligence. Not this stupid nonsense here. It's stupid. It's stupid. It's stupid. It's ignorant. I don't care anything. I don't know who young YSL is. I don't I don't I don't know who you are, sir, but let me tell you something. Let me tell your friends. Unless y'all gonna really say something that's gonna wild the judge to help, you know. Get my name clipped or something. Y'all need to stay at home or shut up. Now they gonna let they're not gonna even let anybody come back in there. They they kicking people out. They're not even gonna let anybody come back in there because of this. Who wants to deal with this nonsense every day? It's it's dumb. It's dumb. It's dumb. You didn't have to keep asking him to step out.